Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. I'm here in the office. Now, I bought one of these the other day. Um, this is a lithium only version. I've had, uh, I've been testing these out for a couple of years now, these battery monitors, and I must say, um, they are pretty impressive. And uh, when I saw this lithium only one, I thought, all right, I'll get it and give it a go. And I've found it to be very accurate at uh, telling the state of charge of lithium batteries incredibly accurate okay now that's the site and so far he is the only um, Australian importer of this particular unit and it is specifically built just for lithium batteries it, it, it's not for any other sort of uh, battery at all and I mean the cost for a battery monitor, one that's as good as this, that's damn cheap. Uh, and it says here, you can read that there, this monitor is for lithium batteries only. Now I've got some paperwork down here. Um, I, I can't really show it to you, but I, I've got some paperwork down here from the manufacturer. It's just got too much personal information in it that explains to me exactly how it works because when I this this came in the post it comes with the standard book for this BM uh, Bluetooth battery monitor okay it, it comes with the standard paperwork uh, but indeed uh, when I hooked it onto the lithium battery it told me the state of charge of that lithium battery straight away um, uh, now this this guy this this channel here Razorback uh, DC products. Um, if we visit his store, you can see he sells all sorts of DC products, um, cables, MC4 connectors. I mean this guy sells everything, and it's not often that I promote. A YouTube channel and I'm not being paid to promote this YouTube channel and I did pay uh, full price for this monitor to test as I always do because that way if things aren't as they say I'm not ob obliged or obligated to say anything good about the product but this is brilliant let me take you out to the uh, ute uh, and show you the install now I have a an original one on the front battery under the tray one of their first units that um, yeah came out a friend of mine said hey give this a go on a test on your batteries and see what you think that was I don't know three or four years ago now and uh, it's been working flawlessly since then so let's just come in here. All right, so currently you'll notice I'm connected to the front battery. Okay, it says under tray, under tray just there. All right, and that's the one that's down in that box down in there. Now that's an AGM lead acid battery. Okay, and what I like about what I've always liked about them is the data, all right, we can get, we can see our voltages, we can go back, we can see what's happening, we can see we charged a bit there. Now the solar panel's not really in the sun right now. I need to drive the car a little bit forward. Um, and, and remember I am running cameras and microphones in this car 24-7. All right, so you can see, and you can just go backwards, and you can see we had a good charge day there. All right, 
and then we go backwards okay so let's just uh, head back now and I've just I installed this one the other day I haven't tidied it up yet I've got to get this up out of the way but there's the the monitor there it look it looks exactly uh, the same as the one in the front except this is the lithium only version for lithium batteries now you can spend a lot of money on battery monitors indeed in the next video you'll in see me install uh, more Victron monitoring gear in the shed but for this video all right so this is charging slowly uh, let's go back go back this is charging slowly now what I want to do is I want to come into here and you go down to Bluetooth device all right there's language settings hardware installation firmware updates all sorts of stuff and as you can see I've just installed the new firmware in here okay all right so we go to Bluetooth device and you'll see I've got two on this one the one under the tray has got a very poor signal because it's in a fully enclosed aluminium box. I'm surprised I'm getting a signal at all, to tell you the truth. But this one is lithium iron in tray, which is this battery here. And this is the new lithium version. So let's go here. All right, we're connected, connecting. It's synchronizing the data, synchronized. All right. So you can see this new one's given me a state of charge of 79% for that battery. Uh, and this test has been going on now. That's today. That's yesterday. And that's when I started the test. I put the unit in. I fully charged the battery with the battery charger. Okay, which is what this is here. Fully charged the battery. And then we've got a little bit of sun in from that shaded solar panel. No, oh, went the wrong way. And that brings us to today. As you can see, it's holding its own. Now this, what's running in the car? Well, all my batteries are sort of joined together like this one and the one under the tray. When my car's parked like this, their job is to keep the starter battery fully charged. So what they do is they send power forward through the um, controller I've got in this tray and they send the power forward to the battery. Keep the battery fully charged. Very important if you go going bush. That way you don't get a flat battery. Um, but they're also running that camera there, another camera up front, and uh, microphones, which go 24 hours a day. All right. So, I mean, this is just an, an amazing bit of gear. So it's giving you an accurate reading. Now, it won't tell you amps in and amps out because it hasn't got a shunt or anything like that on it. Um, but for something, yeah, I mean, I, I found it so far, I found it 100% accurate. And going on their uh, last monitor, or the monitor under the tray, um, I found that one there to be extremely accurate as far as volts and working out. Because it's got that history, you can work out your state of charge through voltage on lead acid batteries. Um, but knowing the exact state of charge, 79%, is awesome now what i'll do later is i'll move this into the sun and, and let this battery charge but um for my testing i just wanted to uh shade that solar panel and see what happened and it's just look this is amazing it's an amazing product 
I paid full price for it. As far as a Bluetooth battery monitor go for lithium batteries, 100% um, recommend it. And the guy selling it, Stephen, um, yeah, I mean, he will, he's a nice bloke and he will back the product as well. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure how it's doing it, how it's communicating with the BMS. Um, to know the exact state of charge, I've got no idea, but it's doing it. Just smart. There's a very clever piece of programming inside this little box. A very clever piece of programming. All right, so that's uh, an, up, a, a video, an update video on the battery monitor version two lithium. Highly recommended if you've got lithium batteries. Um, if you've got two batteries, then I recommend you get one for each battery and you'll be able to see exactly where each battery's at. Now, don't worry about these. They don't use much power, okay? They're only Bluetooth, all right? But they do trickle power away, just like everything else does. Your clock, your security system, uh, your satellite tracking in your vehicle, if you have satellite tracking. Um, yeah, everything else that is uh, turned on, we call it uh, vampire loads because they just keep sucking. But, um, so, you know, but that's no problem with most vehicles. It's no problem with mine. I'll put it in the sun that can stay here for months and months and months and just charge with the sun. But um, for other vehicles, you just take them for a drive once a week and they're fine. All right. Gorgeous day, gorgeous day, look at that. These two blocks of land are being filled and are currently for sale. $240,000 a block and they're yours. All right, keep safe everyone.